Um, so for me, I didn't start football until I was quite, well, 9, 10, 8, 9, 10. And that's when I was nine, I first joined a team. So I went to a fun day in the holiday at Lincoln City Football Club for girls, just to get out the house. And then the coach at the end came up and said, we'd like you to trial. And we didn't expect anything from it. And that's when I first joined a team. Um, I'd only just played in the garden with my dad before. So when I was nine, I joined my first team as a goalie and forgot my gloves and boots on the trial. <laughs> so it started off well. <laughs> Um, so I joined Sheffield United from Doncaster. Um, that was like the first fully full season I had in like women's football other than being an academy or a development team and it had highs and lows and I think I performed well in that considering and then was very lucky to get scouted for Sheffield United and I've gained so much experience and knowledge from joining Chef and I think I'm honestly a better keeper than when I first joined. Um, it's been different to previous years. He is very direct through his coaching. Um, you know, he encourages us all in training. It's been a bit different with the goalie coach leaving. Um, so there's been a bit of a progression, but I've enjoyed it and I'm progressing, so. So before I was initially excited and then I was terrified <laughs> for like the first two weeks like thinking about it um, and then on the way to the camp I think I was just shaking in the back seat of the car and when I got there I just felt like it was like a natural environment and I don't know why I didn't know why I felt so nervous like I was just there to play football with some of the best players in the country so what could you not want about that? Gino De Campo, because he can cook the food, but also make me laugh at his pronunciation. <laughs> um, Alex Scott, purely because she's done so well since leaving the game as well, and her stories from both in the game and out of the game would be a great topic of conversation. And I'll say yourself as well. Me? Yeah. Ike Casillas as a goalie, the one, when he was at Real Madrid, he was in top form and it was just made save after save and, ooh, that's a tough question. <laughs> um, God, I'd love to say an outfielder, but I don't think I have the capability. <laughs> um, I go Casillas in the men's game, yeah. Women's football. Um, I've looked up to Karen Varsley, Carly Telford over the years um, and what they've achieved in the game as well. Like you can only want to admire them and hopefully copy that form in my future years. Favourite football memory? Um, when I first pulled on the England shirt for a game and it was on my birthday. So that was special because my parents were there as well to watch it. Um, I want to play in the highest level possible and I want to be number one goalkeeper at club and win leagues, cups, anything. <laughs> and also just be better than I was. I want to progress, improve. So. I'm currently doing a master's at University of Sheffield in neuroscience and neuroimaging, which is tough. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm very close to my family. You know, they supported me through everything. I don't think I'd be here if it wasn't for what they've done, driving me to training when I was younger and taking me on that first girls' academy fun session in the holiday. So yeah, very close with them. Music. Piano. Yeah. Not got that skill as of now, but <laughs> yeah, I've had to sing. What did you sing? I sung "Come On Eileen." 
come on, I need no ask for what it means. You know the rest. <laughs> Thank you.